What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Fantasy Puck video. In today's video, I'm going to outline a few goalies that you should start that are in favorable matchups this week, as well as some goalies who have some very tough matchups this week. Before we start this video, let's hop over to our player of the day. In this segment, I will give you a random stat that's associated with the player, and in the comment section below, it is your job to figure out who that player is. The random stat today is, from 2017 to 2019, this player leads the league in playoff points with 54. Who is this player? Leave your answers in the comment section below. The first goalie to start this week is Anton Hudobin of the Dallas Stars. After missing the first two weeks of hockey due to COVID-19 concerns, Dallas is beginning the season right where they left off. Their Stars are known for their exceptional defense, they limit shots, and they limit scoring chances more than majority of the teams across the league. After taking two games against the Predators, the Stars remain on this homestand where they'll face the lonely Red Wings twice. Hudobin should have no problem coming out with those games with a few wins as Dallas should be huge favorites in these games. I'm not sure what their game plan is with, with starting their backup goalie, but for what we know now, Hudobin is the clear starting goalie in the Stars' crease. Now, the Stars end the week against Carolina, another team with COVID-19 concerns, so we aren't entirely sure about the status of those games. Assuming they do play though, Dallas should have no problem winning at least one of those two games. Darcy Kemper is the next must-start goalie for this week. The Coyotes are coming off a really tough week, facing Vegas four times in seven days. They seem resilient though, putting up a good fight in every game and Kemper looked great. The Coyotes only played two games this week and I would look to start Kemper in both matchups. The Oats are at home for two games against Anaheim, a team who struggled offensively to begin the season. Although Gibson has been lights out for Anaheim, I'm confident that Kemper can string together a few wins and give your team a solid goals against average and save percentage numbers this week. Just to note, if Ranta does get the start in one of the games this week, he's definitely worth the pickup. The final goalies you should be looking to start this week is the duel on the Canucks, Thatcher Demko, and Braden Holpe. Vancouver has been off to a pretty quiet start, not scoring any goals and allowing a bunch of chances. I'm not really sure what's going on over there in the West Coast, but we definitely are hoping for a rebound this week. On the bright side, Vancouver does have some favorable matchups this week, which is something I won't be saying too often about any team in the Canadian division. They start the week off with three games in four days against Ottawa. This is going to be the most favorable matchups that Canucks going to see all year. Ottawa has been surprising to say the least. They've been putting up some really good fights against these offensive juggernaut teams. I do think Vancouver needs to play well this week, and the goalie tandem is going to have to be at their best. I would start both of them whenever they're starting, and if you're unsure of who's starting on a given night, make sure to follow us on Twitter or join our Discord, we'll be providing daily updates on there. A good week for the Canucks could pay off huge dividends for fantasy owners this week. The first goalie that I would sit this week is Miko Koskinen. The Oilers haven't looked good so far this season. They're currently third in the league for scoring chances against. Although, as expected, the offense has been good, but the Oilers are going to need to score 4 or 5 goals a game to get any wins. Koskinen has a tough week ahead of him. One game against the Jets, followed by two games against the Leafs, and ending the week against the Senators. With no timetable for Mike Smith's return, Koskinen is in line to start all of these games, so the volume is there. Our concern is that the Oilers are going to be playing a lot in their own zone, and are going to have a really difficult time keeping the puck out of their own net. I would start Koskinen this week on Friday against the Senators, but it is a back-to-back, -back, so there's no guarantee that he starts. Frederick Anderson is the other goalie that I would look to sit this week. The Leafs have been great offensively, but extremely poor in the defensive zone. Although Anderson should be a favorite to win most of the games this week, the offensive matchup is so hard to ignore. Toronto has given up far too many chances, and it's really hurting Anderson's goals against and save percentage numbers. As of right now, the Leafs have been giving up the fourth most scoring chances in the league, and I can't see that getting any better. The Leafs play only three games this week, they start a three-game road stand with one game against Calgary, followed by two games against Edmonton. Campbell is also beginning to start some of the games ahead of Anderson, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Campbell start for Toronto in at least one of the three games. It's going to be very difficult to start goalies in the, this Canadian division, but if you are, I would be extremely cautious. That'll do it for a must-start and must-sit goalies video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to be streaming every Saturday to answer all of your fantasy questions as well as a recap of the previous week of hockey and I hope to see you all there. 
Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.